from your news channel. The latest breaking news, county by county coverage, and weather on the nines. This is Bay News 9. It could be the first step toward more mass transportation in the Bay Area. According to our partners at the Tampa Bay Business Journal, Tampa's Museum of Science and Industry is pushing the state to hop aboard an $8 million monorail project. A Palm Harbor company has already been tapped to build it. Manny's Nine's Danny Dangerfield is on scene at Mosey to explain. The museum covers 74 acres. Most people just walk around to check it out. But what if you could hop on a train? Well, Mosey is well on its way to showcasing high-speed rail in Florida. Master switch, master switch. This is the man behind the wheel. Carl Gunther is like a kid with his first toy train. And we test the horn. Means the horn is working. Except this isn't a toy. It's Gunther's business and life ambition. He's laying the tracks for a monorail system. Gunther is starting with a site that's used to setting trends for the future, Tampa's Museum of Science and Industry. It's a master plan that Mosey's research team is pretty excited about. I think there are some innovative aspects of the monorail system that aren't found locally, and one is the ability to move cargo as well as people within this system. It also has a regenerative regenerative energy system so that it conserves energy, stores it, and can be used later on. That means no gasoline is needed for this train. It runs purely by the energy of the sun. That's one reason why a couple of state senators are supporting this effort. Bay Area Senators Victor Chris and Mike Fasano reportedly believe this could be a prototype for more research and possibly get the engine running for monorail mass transportation in Florida. This is a model of what the Mosey train would look like. This is going to hold 20 plus people and they're going to start and stop all day long. Gunther has the plan. All he needs now is the money. Trinidad has a group of investors that in, and, and partners that are looking to gain us a million or two to start the Mosey project. And that's just enough to get this train rolling. But Gunther will need another six million dollars. He's hoping that state lawmakers will provide the money to help make that happen. But they haven't been very enthusiastic about rails in the past. Well, Gunther is hoping that changes and it sparks new interest in rails for the entire Bay Area. I'm on scene in Tampa, Dahlia Dangerfield, Bay News 9.